All right, we got 322 on the left and 323 on the right. First thing you can notice right away, different buttons on the door. And I heard that 323 is now live. So this might be the only side-by-side -side comparison video that you guys will be able to see. How cool is that? I'm really glad that I was able to record this video before it went live. First thing I notice right away, you can see in the elevator, if you look at the doors in 323, it's much darker. And that's generally true for everything. There's like slightly more contrast in 323. Also, moving around, just walking and looking around in 323 seems a lot smoother. I don't know how they did that, but it is noticeably different. It still lags here and there, but it is a big upgrade. So now Capsule we're gonna see if the train is at all smoother, if they fixed it, or if it's still as clunky as ever. seems exactly the same to me. I don't think they touched it at all. Yeah. I mean, it's not that bad. When it's going straight, it's awesome. Ugh. Yeah, it looks exactly the same on both sides. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Oh, that needs that needs work. Yeah, <laughs> there's this this guy scooting around. It's funny in three twenty three. I have run into some bugs that I have not seen in 22. But this guy is going extra stealth mode. Cool armor though. Matching weapons. <laughs> Nobody will see him. So if you guys notice any differences that I'm missing, let me know. And now that 323 is live, we are gonna forget about how it was in 322. And we're not gonna appreciate all the amazing upgrades in the new update.
this looks pretty identical to me. Okay, you can see the difference in the HUD, and I don't really like the HUD in this particular ship in 323. You can see it's all white, and I like the original blue and, and red, as you can see in 22. Thank you. But maybe that's just a glitch or maybe they're still working on it. But for sure the quantum travel is much better. So you just have to hold B to activate it and then once it spools up you hold left mouse and it goes really nice, smooth every time. Okay, here we are at Port Tressler, and you can see it's also quite different. The lights around the ring are brighter, more glowy, and there's a line of lights coming out of every hangar. Looks great. Okay, there's this weird thing. You'll see in 323 that I totally botch the landing and that's because when you're going fast like I am now and you deploy the landing gear normally it like landing acts as an deployed. air brake and it totally stops you uh, a lot of people have been complaining about that and so that's what I was kind of counting on <laughs> but it, it didn't work so I think they fixed it <laughs> and I thought it would start working, but no, look at that. I just shot in there, almost crashed into the wall. But that's good. Just gotta get used to it. I didn't turn off the engines, and as you'll be able to see, in 22, the, the ship jumped up, jumped up off the ground, as it usually does. It also still does that in 23. Uh, it doesn't show that here, but it did happen to me twice. No glitchy floor in 23. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Please, please visit us again. Okay, now we are going to check out the Moby Glass. Please vacate the vicinity. All right, here we go. And as you know, this is a huge upgrade from the old one. It's beautiful. Overall, I like it a lot. But the best part is the map. When you're inside a building, you can see the entire layout. You can set a waypoint that gives you directions <laughs> to, to where you want to go. Oh man, I have spent countless hours just being lost in, in facilities. And also, when you zoom out to see the entire uh so solar system it's also way better totally smooth no glitchy disappearing stuff and the best part is that you can type in where you want to go set your route and go no problems like look how it is in 22 it's just ugh. so loving that now we're gonna do 
and EVA test side by side. And this is still my favorite part thank you, thank of the upgrade. Oh, being able to fly around like Iron Man, absolute pleasure. Maybe you guys saw my previous video called EVA Heaven, and it was heaven. Just so much fun. Look at that. It's so smooth. So when you turn around, like I'm going to try to look up at the ship, it's just, he just rolls over super smoothly. But in 22, he just kind of, <laughs> it's kind of clunky. He's kind of wobbling around. You see him? Oh, really, really great. Love that. Also entering and exiting the transi transition is super smooth. Quantum travel is, seems to be pretty much the same in how it looks. Here you can see the clouds are slightly different. And when you get closer into the city, it gets kind of laggy in, in both cases, but that's understandable. Okay, here... I couldn't really tell any difference. Um, you can see in 22 the thruster flame, it's like darker and longer compared to 23. But it felt the same. little laggy flying around the city but not too bad So the walking seems to be slightly updated. Um, it seems, I mean you can barely tell, but in 323 it seems to be a little smoother. And also, in 323 there are some, maybe there's more wind or something, but he will not run. So in 22, you can see he runs, and he'll run forever without getting tired. But in 23, they added stamina, so you get tired, your heart rate goes up, and you cannot run forever, which I like. That's more realistic, very cool. But in this weather, in 23, my guy will not run. <laughs> this is amazing, I think. In 23, it just looks absolutely stunning i don't know if if it's a different location or the angle of the sun i don't know but in this side by side comparison it looks really wonderful you can see in 22 it's kind of bouncing kind of shaking a little bit but in 23 it's <laughs> also big upgrade in 23 that was awesome Okay, see you guys in 323 live.